What's up, Young Squad? How y'all doing? To the people that don't know me, my name is Young D. How y'all doing? Nice to meet y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on banger videos like this one. And to the people that do know me, oh, thank you for this love and support. Thank you for even coming back to watch another video of mine. You know, how y'all doing today? You know, I appreciate all the love and support I've been receiving lately. And you know, as from the title, we got some PS5 ranked gameplay with some of my settings. So I'm gonna go straight into my settings. Straight off from the back, these are my graphic settings. You know, pause when needed. I'm gonna just go ahead and speed run it. You know, because you know, I want to get straight to the actual video. You know, so I won't be yapping y'all y'all ye ears off. Really, sound. If y'all want to know my sound, you know, there it is. All right. For movement, toggle sprint, auto open doors. I have mantle activation as hold, hold my jump button, and hurdle activation as press jump. If y'all don't remember in chapter four when they tried to do this, it was basically forcing you to just hold forward, and a lot of people died to fall damage, all because you know they couldn't control it. But yeah, now they fixed that. It's gonna go straight down. If you're a builder, you know obviously there's the building tips. You know you can pause when needed. You know, got all my replays turned off because apparently it does cause a help for your performance. You know, your input delay, so on and so forth. So, hmm. damage number scale, 70 to 60. You know, the less things I have on my screen, you know, the better I can see. You know, blah, blah, blah. Skip to gyro. Don't use gyro. Don't even use mouse and keyboard on console. And we go straight into the settings. Boom, boom. I do use Quick Weapon Beta, still trying to learn how to get used to it. If you use it, comment down below if you use Quick Weapon Beta and how is it working for you. If you don't use it, you know, just like the video. Either way, I appreciate the support. On look sensitivity is 6.7. People said sometimes this also helps affect your settings, so I, I don't really see it. But, I mean, if it works for you, my look sensitivity is 6.7. Build and edit is 1.6, 1.4 for the builders out there. And now go on to the real, the nitty gritty of my settings. I play on 41, 41. Uh, I have better control with 41, 41 playing like this. You know, I feel like I'll be hitting a lot more shots. And I do play on 10, 10. Now, one thing I do want to talk about. Uh, if y'all don't know, for my controller players out there, whatever scope you use, it will affect your sensitivity. So, you know, we got four different scopes. We got the red dot scope, which is like 1, 1. 1.15. You got the holographic, which is 1.3. Um, the two time scope. And then you got the four time sniper scope. You know, this will be a good time for Epic Games to add scope sensitivity so we can adjust each and every one scope sensitivity, just like how Apex have it. And I believe Call of Duty got something like that, you know. They, now it's time for them to convert that into Fortnite, especially with all these weapon mods that they're adding and you know, weapon attachments, you know, so people can play to their play style. But right now, 1010 is the perfect sense for me. I can beam with any scope I use. You know, back then at the start of the chapter five, I was struggling because I was beaming with one side of scope. But when I try to use another weapon that has a different scope, it just, my aim was off, and I was getting mad and frustrated, but luckily, I stand 10 toes, I stood on business, and I was able to find the perfect sensitivity where I can beam with all of the scopes. And then I'm also an exponential player, you know, helps with my aim, I do grind uh, zero build a lot, so, you know, exponential really been improving my aim, and I really love it myself. 5-5 five, five dead zone. Um... You know, my dead zone always will stay at 5.5 five because I got Sony's first ever Pro Controller DualSense Edge. And all I had to do is just pay $25 for another thumbstick instead of $200 for another controller. You know what I mean? Pretty good controller. I recommend it for my PlayStation players. And now getting to the nitty-gritty to the binds. 
as you can see, I'm just going to go straight down. These are my volumes. You know, I did change them in live season for OG. And, you know, and I've been loving them. So, I'm just going to go straight down. Just speed run. Boom, boom. Obviously, if I'm going too fast for y'all, you know, y'all can just pause when needed. For, the, you know, the builders out there, you got my build and edit binds. If you're a zero build player, this is basically the end of the settings. Anyways, young squad. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. Thank you. 